Hello everyone, welcome back to GI Players! I play 1-3-2-Z and we're continuing on with our plug and play... Saga. Welcome to Scooby-Doo and the Mystery of the Castle. Oh! You hear that? It's... Music. Something that the last plug and play system we had lacked very much. This is... What's New Scooby-Doo? It's not the original Scooby-Doo theme, it's the What's New Scooby-Doo theme. That makes me very happy right now. I loved that show growing up. It's honestly... Like, one of my top favorite, like, Scooby-Doo, like, projects. Like, other than the original Scooby-Doo show, the live-action movies, and What's New Scooby-Doo, and the movies that came after what, like, also during What's New Scooby-Doo. That was like a great saga of Scooby-Doo goodness. The What's New Scooby-Doo. Hell, the freaking Hex Girls were in it. I, and I cannot remember if that's where they originated. But the Hex Girls. Alright, well... Oh my god, this just sounds so nice. So, whereas the last plug-and-play was this orange controller with the Nickelodeon splat and everything, this controller is the mystery machine. It's got Scooby-Doo riding in the back. It's got Fred, Daphne, Velma, and Shaggy all in the mystery machine on multiple sides. And it's got, for the controller, this ghost-like creature that's popping up like just out of the roof of the mystery machine and the buttons we've got is uh, this flower icon right here and an A B button which I guess is kind of the standard thing for these plug and play systems I'm already really enjoying this way more than the Nickelodeon one it was a Nintendo <laughs> oh way way wrong company <laughs> All right, well, let's play. All right, we got the easy game and the hard game. I I just love the What's New Scooby-Doo theme. It's so good, and I love hearing this 16-bit version of it. Sounds great. I'd use this as a ringtone. You guys can hear me, right? Hold on. Ah, it's only coming in on the left headphone. Don't know why. That's weird. Oh well. I wonder if that's like that on the recording. Ah, uh, let's start the easy game. Okay, we've got the race to Fonte Castello, the river of frights. Searching the castle, the mysterious doors, and the dungeons of Fonte Castello. I'm guessing that's the name of the levels. Alright! I right, got Sca <laughs> Scabby. Shaggy and Scoop. You got Daphne and Fred looking at something together. Alright. And they're running to the mystery machine. Wait, where was Velma? Chapter 1. The race to Fonte Castello. Pick up team members in the mystery machine and drive to Fonte Castello. Avoid obstacles and frightening creatures on this wild journey. Use banana peels against chasing cars. Headlights to scare away enemies. Rockets to boost your speed. Okay. We've got some Mario Kart kind of mechanics going on right now it sounds like and we are controlling the mystery machine that makes sense since we have a controller that is the mystery machine uh, looks like we got this rocket we can control our speed by going forward and backing up and we just full-on break Looks like we got Scooby Snacks, and I just, wow, I just hit that car. Music actually sounds okay.
Kind of bouncy. I can get behind this. Ah, damn. Control's a little loose. Alright. Speed up. Okay, I can see our progress is in the bottom left corner over there. Alright, we can activate our item with the uh, B button. Maybe stop hitting everything. Okay, okay, let's let's actually try to play this. Okay. So if we're picking up our teammates, who's in the mystery machine right now? Was the opening cutscene quote quote signaling that we're playing as Fred and Daphne right now? Maybe. What's the point of the Scooby Snacks? Uh, uh, stop rear-ending these people! God, there's so many wrecked cars on this freaking highway! I should probably be picking up these wretches. Yes, I should be picking up these wretches. Oh boy. Why are there so many wrecked cars? I don't remember that being a major plot point in any episode. Oh hey, that was Shaggy. Was that just Shaggy or was Scooby with him? I, I couldn't quite catch that. Alright, level two and... We look like we're in the Wild West. Are we in the Wild West? Hey, we got that banana that they brought up before. It said to use it on... Uh, Cars that are chasing us? Whoa, what the Skelegool? Alright. Hey, there was another one. I am already liking this. Leagues better than the Velma show. Never watched it. Only because I heard all the characters are complete and total assholes. Oh, hey, there's a car. Whoa, oh, oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh ooh, I need a wrench. Yeah, why would I want to watch a show where you make all the characters assholes? That's not what Scooby-Doo is all about. They didn't even have Scooby in it from what I heard. If you want to change their race, okay, that's fine. Oh, hey, there was Velma. Speaking of which... I'm okay if you change their race, just make them the characters. Like, just make Shaggy a scaredy cat goofball who loves to eat food and has a talking dog best friend. Daphne, I mean, you could change her up a little bit by not being a damsel in distress all the time, you know, like they joke in the movie and stuff. I have nothing for this car. Well, he's just gonna be chasing me for a while now, isn't he? Alright, just get that wrench. Ooh. Ha ha ha! Suck it, bitch! And Fred's not an asshole in the shows. In the other shows, really. He's a team leader, yeah, but... He's not an asshole. He loves his friends. Yeah, they make him a little bit of an asshole in the first live-action movie, but... That kind of worked for it a little bit. Like, they've been doing it for years, and, like, the fame's gotten to his head and stuff like that kind of a thing. But the core basis is... They're all... They're closer than just friends. They're, like, a family. They are a freaking family that just, like... They're a family of outcasts that have stuck together and just love each other. Faults and all. And how do you make a Scooby-Doo project without even having Scooby- Hey, we didn't even have- Okay, I guess all of our friends are in here, so I guess we did pick up Scooby with Shaggy. Velma- Why, why was Velma by herself? I love Velma. He's like- Top two favorite characters. She she kind of goes, like, 
Scooby-Doo, obviously, is my favorite character, but... I love... I kind of go back and forth whether Velma or Shaggy is my number two favorite. Only because, like, growing up, I just... I felt like I was Shaggy. I was a really skinny kid who just loved to eat a lot. I always have a pet... I always have a pet dog. So I, I felt really close to Shaggy in that kind of aspect. Holy shit, I just ran over a ghost with my car. And another one. What do the Scooby Snacks do? How was I supposed to dodge that? Okay, keep that for when you see a ghost chase behind you. Which, by the way, oh my god, ghosts are chasing behind us. Uh, uh, okay, this is a no-win situation. I can't go past anybody. I guess I should break, but... I'm worried that the ghosts from before will catch up to me or something. Does the light hurt these ghosts? No, it doesn't. Ah, damn. Oh my god, asshole! Damn! This is tough! Okay, I'll be honest. I did play this before. So I kind of knew a little bit. There were some things I missed, obviously, but... But I was actually really enjoying this. At first, when I first tried this, I didn't hear any music. So I almost had a similar problem with the Nickelodeon one, but then I found when I pushed the pause button, there was a little menu, and there was a sound option, and the op sound was turned way down, so I turned it way up. Alright, uh, I actually really want to keep playing this. Um, was the River of Frights the... No, we did. We were on like level three, I think, right? Oh, well, well, shit. I guess maybe we weren't. I think. Uh, oh no, we we did not do chapter two. Okay, searching the castle. Okay, so the whole chapter one thing was just being in the mystery machine. I did not know that. I made it to that highway. And that was as far as I made it in that game. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, Velma, she's like, oh! The game style changed? Okay, so it's not just driving in the mystery. Oh my god, oh, I'm playing as Scooby and Shaggy's following me. If I push up, oh my god, this makes me so happy. This is, this is actually really good. Oh my god, you can hide behind shit. Oh my god, this is so cool. Ah, pizza, nice. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. This is great. There's variety in this. This is actually a good plug and play system. I kind of want to know what uh, chapter 2 is all about now, but... Oh, shit! <laughs> Spooky, scary skeletons. Uh, oh, oh, okay, just gotta push the A button on that one. Oh my gosh, this is actually really cool. What was level 2 all about? Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, here's the music all the way up. Oh, I guess I didn't even know that sound effects weren't even on. Okay. Uh, what was the River of Frights? I'm actually really curious about this. Okay. The River of Frights. Use the logs, stones, and sometimes alligators to move upstream. I'm sorry, alligators? Don't let the night reach you and beware of... The, okay, uh, use banana peels again. Oh, uh, okay. Are we doing... Oh, is this cars again? Or No, move and jump. Okay. Uh, it's different. It's different. Oh! 
Okay, and this one we're- oh! Hey, Raggy! Oh my god, Scooby talks. This is great. This is Weird Frogger. That's what this is. This is Weird Frogger. Raggy! Like Zoic Scoob! Oh yeah, talking about the Velma show, if you want to change their race, that's fine. Just don't make them assholes. Make them like what they were. I mean, personality-wise, just don't make them assholes. Do you want to make it an adult show? Okay, fine, make it an adult show. Just keep the heart and soul of the characters. This is weird ass Frogger. Oh my god, Shaggy is actually voluntarily walking on crocodiles and, I mean, alligators. Uh, that's too far away. Too far away. I. What did I just land on? Did I land on a frog? Ooh, ice cream. I want the ice cream. Raggy! This is leagues better than the freaking Nickelodeon plug and play by miles. <laughs> Just hearing Scooby Doo say, hey, Raggy, and laughing is making me so happy. This is actually a really good plug and play. And the controls aren't that bad either. Shaggy's going exactly where I want him to go. Okay, a little bit. Oh, th that doesn't hurt me? I would think that the alligator's chomping, me landing on the alligator's faces, would mean that I would get hurt. So far, I haven't even gotten hurt yet. <laughs> Shaggy just yells, yikes. Or zoink. I guess zoinks would make more sense, but... Oh god, itchy eyebrow. <laughs> god, this is so great. Okay, so if technically the first chapter we played as uh, Fred and I'm guessing Daphne was riding shotgun since we picked up uh, Shaggy, Scooby, and Velma on the way to whatever the Monte Cristo knockoff name was. So, can, is there like a level where you're just playing as Velma? I would be so happy about that. By the way, I love, I mean love the live action movies. Oh god! Tension! Tension! Ah! He caught up! Okay, this got tough. Like, I thought it was wonderfully cast and everything. Everyone just was fit the role perfectly. I would have loved another like live action one with that crew. I liked the second movie. It was kind of nice seeing like a lot of the older monsters that I grew up watching like come to live action. I always thought Captain Color was terrifying as a little kid. Like from the episode that he was on on the original show. Oh, so the Alligators do hurt you. Pizza! That'll heal ya. And I ain't no Ninja Turtle. But yeah, Captain Color's like roar or yell was always so scary to me. Another one was like the creepy like astronaut ghost. OG Scooby Doo was just freaking crazy, man. I loved it so. I still love it so much. Woo! It's gotten late. 
I got hurt by the frog. What do the freaking... They've got to be for points only. The Scooby Snacks. Oh god, it's just gators after gators. Okay, Shaggy, the shore is right there. You can't make that. Scooby will catch you. I'm sure of it. Ah, that's not what I'm trying to do. Oh boy. Just keep going straight. Yeah, I never watched the new Velma show, but I heard they made Shaggy like a simp or something like that. How are you gonna do that to my boy? Ah, oh, sweet! I thought I got a game over or something. Shaggy's just jumping right into the maw of that freaking gator. Okay, we caught up to the mystery machine even though we got picked up by the mystery machine. Hey, I got the score on this. Nice. Alright. Oh, wow, we've already been... Okay, we already caught up to here. We've got Captain Picard and... Random guy. Searching the castle. We've already done this. We, we know this one. Come on, Scoob! Ah, oh, so the sound effects are just their voices, and I love that. Okay, yeah, I'm kind of rushing it now since we've played it already. God, I love this. I love this attention to detail for a plug-and-play. Oh, it's too late to hide now, Scoob. Oh, not anymore. Wait for a spooky, scary skeleton to walk right past us. How's the audio going, by the way? Okay, that's going fine. How's this one going? Again, forgot it was only on the left headphone. Oh yeah, push the A button to go down, okay. Alright, and we've caught back up to this. I, I'm enjoying this so much. Come on, Scoob. Okay, Raggy. <laughs> Ronster. This, this attention to detail is good. Oh, I guess I didn't want to go down that way. I guess I just gotta walk behind this guy right now. Can I get behind the barrel? Oh, I can. I guess I don't need to. Ah, dude! Instant death? Or did I just have low health and didn't realize it? you to pass. Ooh, you had a little bit of a kick in your step right there. Yeah, you know, move a little bit fast. Rats! Damn it. Ah, damn it. A skeleton down here? Well, all right, we made it to the exit. Sweet. I just realized I have no lives left. Come on, 
Yeah, this is a good, like, variety, I guess. Wow, that just went right over my head. And again. What, what, what's with the eye... Oh, those are eyeballs. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I was about to say wall buttholes, but... Okay, now the bats are low enough to hit me. What the fu- oh! Oh, that's actually kind of creepy a little bit. Even though it's like a bed sheet, stereotypical bed sheet ghost. Oh god. No, don't walk into the ghost scoob. Ah, man. Oh, hey, did we hit a checkpoint or something? No, where this is Oh yeah, the start of level 3. Ah, damn it. That's okay. We regain that. Creepy wall eyes. This is evil dead as shit right here. I don't know why I said evil dead, but eh, I guess it works. Sorry, Raggy. Oh, come on. That's bullshit. Where the ghosty goos at? Risa. Oh, God. Okay, go up now. Oh, I guess I pushed the pause button with my pants. No, don't go do that. Don't do that, Scoob. The exit is right here. I like this. I can't stress how much I actually prefer this over the Nickelodeon one. The Nickelodeon one is inferior. Oh god. Oh yeah, I love the shows growing up. Pup named Scooby Doo, that was a funny one. I love that Fred like had a nemesis. He just constantly said was the one to blame through for like a lot of the crap that went on in Coolsville. I can't remember the, the name of the kid, but it, it, it was kind of just funny. Everyone was adorable. It, it was a creative cartoon. That's a big fucking spider. That one was a lot easier than the last level. I will say that. Come on, Scoob. But yeah, like a lot of iterations of Scooby Doo, I've just liked. But Velma, just I was curious about Velma when it was first talked about. But as time went on, and like after it came out, and people were like just watching it just to hate watch it, and people saying that the characters are pretty much just assholes it's like why would you do that to characters that you want to identify with or something like that it's like if you want someone to like look up to these characters why make them assholes they're friends they're they're closer than family they're the family of outcasts they're the meddling kids They freaking love each other, man. It's like, why would you make them jerks? Where the frick did you come from? You literally popped out of nowhere. Damn, I gotta go up there with a freaking ghost. Okay.
Oh, the ghost just disappeared. Well, that's te what ghosts tend to do, so I don't know why I'm surprised. Scooby, come on. Don't go into Shaggy's arms right now. Oh, snap. Alright. Yay! Remember my name. Hey, Scooby's happy. I heard that Velma got renewed for a season two. I might watch that if they like fixed everything, all the problems that were with wrong with season one. It might make me want to watch it if they do good with season two. Like learn all the kinks that were wrong with the first season and make season two good or something like that. Make a show that people don't want to hate watch. Okay, we're still playing as Scooby, but no Shaggy. Okay. Okay, I was not paying attention to what this chapter was all about, so... What did I do? Oh, okay. I just realized there's a map saying where you can go and so Ooh, luckily that timed perfectly for me. So I need to get to that key. on the top. I could have sworn there was two down there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Rikes. Oh. Instant game over. Okay. All right, so we got the basics of what Mysterious Doors was about. What is the dungeons of Fonte Castello? Okay. The dungeons of Fonte Castello. Find the way back to Scooby-Doo through the dungeons. Locate keys to open the exit gates. Use traps against ghosts, but watch your step or Shaggy may get trapped. Warning the night maybe oh, but the night again the elegant the electromagnet why did I read that so weirdly okay after three seconds okay this changes things up a bit now we've got a 3d freaking thing going on right here <laughs> scooby-doo where are you we're over here! <laughs> I'm sorry, can we all agree that freaking Scrappy Doo is. Okay, actually. I'm sure there's a lot of people who have never seen the first live action movie, so now. Oh god, you're here. That's right, there were supposed to be ghosts. I gotta find the key. Yeah, I probably should. Did I find the key already? Is it unlocked? I guess I must have. I just don't remember picking it up. What, did it look like one of the Scooby Snacks that I thought it was or some shit? Alright. Alright, it seems simple enough. Alright, so we've got two gates to deal with this time. Even though one of them I can walk past easily. That doesn't make sense. Okay, there's a bunch of gates. Okay. But which one's the one that's locked? I wasn't sure if that was a door or something. 
What's new Scooby Doo? We're coming after you. I'm gonna solve that mystery. I see a Scooby Doo coming after you. What's new Scooby Doo? We got the key right now. Ho 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 yeah. That looks like it will follow me. Or not. Nope, that one will. Oh, now they're moving. Oh, shit. That's actually kind of creepy. I was like, I knew that was going to follow me. I just knew it. Shaggy, what the frick are you laughing at, man? Being chased by creepy-ass crap here. Oh my god, it's 12.30 at night right now. I have lost track of time completely. Well, I was trying to see what the lever was going to do, but I guess, okay. Alright, let's see if we can find this key. we have been pretty good at dodging enemies and stuff like that right now. Ghost just actually fall down a trap that I didn't even set? Oh, you stupid bastard. <laughs> Alright. Ooh. It just looks so goofy. But I love it. Okay, Peanut. Okay, we found the gate. Now, where's the damn key? Hot diggity damn! That's a dead end. Damn it! I was so far in this one, too. Oh my god, I have no more lives. Aha, I knew it was gonna freaking do a drop. Wait, is this where I think it is? Okay, so this is, okay, this is literally where I died. Where is the key? This would have been a fun game to play during like Halloween season or something like that, I guess, as a one-off. Maybe a two-parter, at most. Where is this key? Whoa. Uh oh. Ha <laughs> ha! Suck it, ghost. Oh, there's the key! Freaking finally found it. That looked weird. Those look weird on the ground. Why are they on the ground? That is really creepy. I don't like it. What? What? Bullshit. Okay. Ah, son of a bitch. The music is actually really good. It builds the atmosphere that this is freaking creepy. Hey! Okay, so that's what Scooby Snacks do. They give you a one-up. Glad I finally figured that out after all this freaking time. Where is the second key? Son of a whore. Uh, thank you. Okay, I gotta go up that way. Ah, uh, you don't want to go over the pit of death for you? You're a ghost, what do you got to fear? Oh, sweet mother of pearl. Can I stay in the corner? No, there's not enough room to really hide or anything.
Where the hell did that ghost go? Oh, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch! Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! It went through the walls and cut me off over that way, I see. Crafty, spectoral bastard. I'm just gonna keep going until I, like, either beat this or get a game over. Because this has just been so much fun. For a plug-and-play system, by the way. Just I just want to keep, like, reminding you guys that this is a plug-and-play. My controller is the mystery machine, and I'm moving Shaggy with a ghost controller. Mind you, there have been quite a bit of fun plug-and-plays in the past. Sucks that it kind of died out as a, you know, business, I guess. It was really a time, like, it was just an era of gaming where there was just hundreds of just plug-and-plays. Where the frick is this damn key? I have been all over this place. I cannot find the second key. I'm starting to think there isn't a second key. No, there has to be. There has to be a second key. Where the fire? Frickin' A, screw you. Haha, <laughs> made you go turn around. Oh, you have got to be shitting me. It was there this whole time. It was right next to the damn gate. Are you freaking kidding me? It wasn't there before. Do these things just pop up randomly? Each time you, like, die or something? I'm starting to think, ah, fuck you. Well, there's one key, and there's a second key. Son of a bitch. Alright. Fuck you. Alright, now we just gotta find the silver key. Hey, cool. Did we just get another one up? I can't. I think that's the sound Shaggy makes when we get a one up. God, this place is actually pretty creepy. The music is actually very good. Oh, hell no. Okay. You know what's one, like, Scooby-Doo universe I never got, like, to, like, experience? I've wanted to, but I never, like, could find any of the comics or anything for it. Was, like, the post-apocalyptic Scooby-Doo one. Like, that looked fascinating to me. Oh, does it just move back and forth? I thought it just flat out followed you. I mean, usually I wouldn't be in the same presence as it, so I guess I wouldn't know. Oh, hey, there's the silver key. Cool, now we just gotta find the gate. I just nonchalantly found this crap. Son of a bitch! Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, let's test my theory. Do they pop up in the same spot? No, they don't. They do not pop in the same spot as they were before. I have to refind all these keys. Are you kidding me? This is bullshit. All right, so the keys pop up randomly every time. And the first try, I just happen to find two of the keys right next to each other. Okay, you guys are allowed now less scary now that I know you don't chase me. Son of a- oh, hey, there's a key. Oh my god, maybe it's not random. I think that was the same exact spot as last time. 
So then the other key should be not too far from here, right? I just can't remember where the hell that was. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, that works. I thought they were going to bump into each other or something. Hey, I'll follow this guy. He looks like he knows where he's going. Hey, there's the key. He didn't know where he was going. He was leading me right to the key. How polite. Are you just a weird-ass looking version of Casper? Now, where did I die? I think it was right here. Okay, let me just wait for it. Yep. Okay, there we go. Okay, no, this isn't where I died. I died right here, I think. I died somewhere. All I know is that level is definitely a lot easier than the previous one. You're gonna find that freaking key for the life of me. I think this is the last level. I don't see any locks on the bottom. So, this, I think, is the last level. Okay, now we're just gonna be moving gates willy nilly. There's a giant ass magnet. Okay, now I figure out how to do that. The Black Knight! That's what this was all about. I gotta trap the Black Knight now. Okay. Okay, I just gotta flip all the switches, I guess. Turn all the switches on. Get the knight right there in the magnet. No! Ah! Gotcha, bitch! Oh yeah, Shaggy took down the freaking knight. It was Captain Picard all along. Oh hey, hi Velma, you were in the background. I saw you. A T Z. Hey, I got the top score. Suck it, Fred. Dude, we beat it. I didn't actually expect us to beat it. I mean, yeah, we skipped a chapter or two, but... Dude! I feel great about this! Hell yeah! That was great! Alright, what's the credits look like? We beat the Scooby-Doo plug-and-play system. That was fun. If you're a Scooby-Doo fan, yeah, I'd say get this. This is actually kind of cool. And I will return it to Goodwill. So that way others can enjoy this. As much as I did. Thank you guys for joining this, joining us on these past two episodes of the plug-and-play systems. If you want me to go play more plug-and-play games, I still own that Data East plug-and-play system and it has a bunch of games on there that I know I will not like. But until then, see you guys next time for more things to come. Bye!